Now, what Labor is doing is disallowing the Northern Basin Review, which is about a separate amount of water, 70 gigalitres, that you know, a really rigorous scientific process has demonstrated uh, is not necessary for the health of the environment, because the science wasn't really uh, very well developed at the time that the figure was determined. But the two have now become conflated as has the 450 gigalitre upwater, a deal that was done to look after South Australia. Let's be really honest about that. We all know that's why it was done. But that 450 gigalitre upwater belongs to 2024, not to the here and now. <laughs> if I see Labor somehow bringing back the 450 gigalitre upwater and telling the communities that I represent that they have to start recovering that water now, and I've heard that sort of line coming out of Labor, then I will do something that I never thought I would, Deputy Speaker. I will call on the states to withdraw from the Basin Plan in spite of everything that we've been through because I am not going to turn around to my communities and tell them that we are coming to get another 650 gigalitres of your water. I can't do that. I won't do that. And I know that the water ministers and the agriculture ministers, and one is a Labor government, in both Victoria and New South Wales are seriously considering it. So while Labor plays the political games here, have no doubt about the really shocking effect that those games are having in, you know, in the real parts of rural Australia, parts that I wish my Labor colleagues could spend more time visiting. But I'm here to look after and represent Order. those communities.